Hey guys, Dr. Daniel Sugai, board certified dermatologist here in the Seattle area. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm really excited to do this video on slugging. I've been getting a lot of comments or questions about slugging and what are my thoughts. So as a board certified dermatologist who's done his residency at Harvard and been in practice for six years, let's talk about just the nitty gritty petroleum jelly. Like that's one of my favorite versatile skincare ingredients. That's part of kids and adult skincare routines because it is just so gentle, soothing. And so we use it for like for kids, diaper rashes, eczema, psoriasis. For adults, we can use it for really chapped lips, dryness around the nose, or even some bloody nose. You could even put a little bit of Vaseline at bedtime. It's a small amount, obviously. And then also dry cracked heels and hands. It's really nice to just be an occlusive barrier ointment. Cuts and burns, you know, small burns, large burns, not ideal, um, but Vaseline, Aquaphor, CeraVe healing ointment, all great options to put on a cut instead of things that can really cause irritation and allergic contact dermatitis like neomycin in neosporin. Bacitracin can also be a common culprit, but not as much as neosporin. So let's talk about slugging. What is slugging? Slugging is from a Korean beauty trend. It's originated from K-beauty and is really taking storm. Lots of viral videos on TikTok. What the purpose is, is to really give you that glassy look. Really, it's nice to see that skin reflecting light off of it. When that light reflects back at you, you see someone glow up. It just looks like like a like healthy skin when they look at someone with dewy skin. That's the end thing right now. How you would do it is you would cleanse your face. You could use a hyaluronic acid serum. This one's the L'Oreal Revitalift. Again, this is not a paid or sponsored video, but apply that onto cleansed skin. So while your skin's damp, apply this to your face. After this, you can put on a moisturizing cream because if you just put hyaluronic acid on without an occlusive emollient, it will lose that water it's retaining. So they work hand in hand. You can't just hydrate and not seal it in. You need that moisturizing cream. And I like Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream so much. I talked about this on the Today Show. So now I'm gonna open up a new jar, a brand new jar here for you guys. Look at that. Just filled to the brim of this nice moisturizing Cream. Small amount goes a long way. Just to seal in your hyaluronic acid serum that picked up all that moisture. I love that cream, it's so soothing. It has a little cooling effect. It always feels like it's been in the fridge. It has that glacial glycoprotein, has squalane, which is hydrating, but also helps restore the skin barrier. And that's what it's all about. It's not just ceramides that you want. It's also other supporting actors like squalane can help support that skin barrier and restore it because we don't want to get that skin irritation during the changing of the seasons. Plus like this winter, my gosh, today in Seattle was like 25 degrees. On the colder side, definitely is trying to draw out the moisture from my face. And so a nice moisturizer over this. So after you put that moisturizer on, then you can go ahead and put on some form of petroleum jelly or petrolatum based ointment, whether it's Vaseline, Aquaphor, or CeraVe healing ointment. Okay, never mind. I can do better than that. Here, CeraVe healing ointment. These are all great things you can do. Right now, I'll put on CeraVe healing ointment to lock in everything. Thinnest to thickest. This is a pure example of going thinnest to thickest in your skincare routine. Cleanse, hyaluronic acid serum, moisturizing cream, then an ointment. Just a thin film small amount. I like to put on the cheekbones and your forehead it really locks in all of that nice hydration, plumps up those cornea sites in your stratum corneum, which is the very top layer of your epidermis. Boom. Love that little glistening look there. That's how I can end my night routine. If you're not going to do a retinoid, if you say your skin's irritated, a little raw from all the skincare ingredients or from the cold weather, you can definitely go to sleep like this. And people have always asked, putting on petrolatum on your face, isn't that going to clog up your pores? No, classically, these are not comedogenic. They don't typically cause clogged pores or acne, comedonal acne. They do really well on the face. And so when people have done the N95 masks and they've had those bruising, indentations, irritation from the tight mask, I'd say go ahead and put a thin film where that mask is coming down and over your nose and wear that mask to help protect yourself. Don't put too much because you don't want to alter the seal of the mask. That is an effective way to go about it. I, I always do that when I wear a tight N95 mask. Not a sponsored video, but let's talk about these specific products or brands. Let's talk about Aquaphor first. I have these cute little samples everywhere I go. They come in different forms. They have a bigger tube of this. There's even a spray, ointment spray. A lot of people don't know about this. Or big tub. I'm just kidding. This is not an actual 
beautiful product that it doesn't come in the size. My decor here, people step in my house is kind of a little shock factor, but my wife puts it away and says, don't take it out when people are around. But it contains smaller jars here that I have all over the house. This is the other tube that I was talking about. That's the big brother to this little sample size. So these are so handy to have around the house. It's really nice. It's different from just plain old Vaseline, which is just petroleum jelly. It's just pure filtered, safe petroleum jelly. It's been filtered so many times people worry, oh, is that like putting gasoline in your face? No, very different. This one has the Sabalol, glycerin, panthenol. Panthenol being Pro vitamin B5 is hydrating, but also an emollient. And then you have Basabalol, which is some people say soothing because it has antioxidants in it. And it has uh, glycerin, which is a classic humectant that draws in water and retains water like hyaluronic acid. So if you wanted to talk about slugging, I think Aquaphor is one of the go-tos. The downside to Aquaphor is that if you have a lanolin sensitivity, you don't want to slug with this because it will cause a nasty rash. This has lanolin wool alcohol in Aquaphor versus Vaseline. And CeraVe healing ointment do not have that wool, that lanolin wool alcohol. That is a quite rare sensitivity, so I don't see that very often, but it's possible. In general, Aquaphor, I've used for so many years for my babies, for their dry skin after a shower to lock in that moisture, diaper rashes, or to prevent diaper rashes at times, I would use that. Really good stuff, not irritating. They come in a tub like this or a tube like this where you just crack it open get a little bit out that you want. The spray, the ointment body spray, as you guys know, this isn't very useful for slugging on the face. You don't wanna be spraying your face. Better for bigger surface areas. You know, this not for slugging. I love these little sample sizes. Great for when I'm in clinic. Just gonna put a small amount along the lips. So this is very handy to have in the car, in your work bag. And so the next product I'll talk about really quickly would be Vaseline, tried and true. It's been around for a while. This is probably the cutest sample I've ever seen out of my sample closet, the Vaseline, the miniature Vaseline is so fun to have. The downside of Vaseline though, is it doesn't have those hydrating ingredients like the glycerin or Brasabalol, Panthenol like Aquaphor. And also I don't, I don't know if I, there are tubes out there of this. I usually see it, this is classically in a tub. And if I'm gonna slug on my face, I typically like products with tubes because this might be the tub used for your baby's bottom or your dry cracked feet. Got all fissured and cracked, you put this on your feet. So I don't know if I wanna use this same tub for your face. If you have a dedicated tub of Vaseline just for your face, sure, go right ahead. But I tend to like things with tubes. I have no problems with Vaseline otherwise. It's been around for many, many decades. Marilyn Monroe said this was her big glow up secret where she, put some of this along her cheekbones under makeup, and that's how she got that classic glow. Zendaya uses Aquaphor for her glow up, and she's been very vocal about that, which I think is great. Something so cheap, just like less than five bucks, you can use as a way to highlight. Next would be CeraVe's healing ointment. It comes classically in this tube. I have this other cute jar sample of it. That's really nice that I give to my patients with really dry chapped lips. The CeraVe healing ointment is nice because it has other ingredients besides petrolatum. It has the ceramides, which makes CeraVe CeraVe. It has the blend of ceramides, which are important players in your skin barrier and keeping that brick wall intact. And ceramides are that fatty lipid component. That's the part of the glue that keeps our skin cells together. When that's altered, it leads to dry, irritated red skin. This also has hyaluronic acid, which is that humectant that draws in water and retains it and helps give our skin a nice plump look. And this also has panthenol like aquaphor. And so I like this one a lot. It does take a little effort to squeeze out of the tube. That's my only critique is that it comes out kind of thick. You have to kind of squeeze it a lot. But once it comes out, it melts quite quickly and it doesn't seem as thick as you would expect when you had to squeeze so hard for it to come out. It actually does ease up and melt quite quickly. So I like the texture. I have some patients who prefer Aquaphor over CeraVe healing ointment. I'd say that this melts so quickly, it's, you could argue that it's probably lighter than Aquaphor. If I were to squirt a little bit of Aquaphor out, definitely thicker, a little bit more resistance when you try to spread it out, more viscous, doesn't melt as quickly as CeraVe. So some people find that to be more soothing for dry cracked heels or even dry cracked lips. It's all about preference and I'd say both are great. CeraVe healing ointment is nice because it has the extra ingredients and it has, comes in this nice tube. So definitely great for slugging. Now let's talk about who I would not recommend slugging for. So slugging, as you know, it's all about occlusion, occluding and trapping in that moisture. People with acne prone skin, do you need to trap in stuff? No, if you have acne, you wanna have that bacteria 
stuff, get treated by your nice ingredients and not get sealed in to have fun. Acne is all about the hair follicle the hair follicular unit or the pore of the hair follicular unit having bacteria in it that's feeding off of all the debris, dead skin, keratin in there. And it just causes an inflammatory cascade and that inflammation and infection will lead to acne, inflammatory acne, or even pustular cystic acne. And what we don't want is to just trap in all that food for, your, for that bacteria in the pore so they can just go crazy. So I don't recommend this for people with active acne on your face. If you have active acne, definitely see your dermatologist. We can work on how to glow up responsibly with prescribed medications or over-the-counter uh, recommendations. Now, in terms of people with oily skin, do you need to do this? I say, be careful. You could do it, but start slow. Don't do it a lot. You might not want to occlude all that trapped sebum your skin might already have if you have oily skin. If you are using active ingredients, especially retinoids, like tretinoin, prescription retinoids, be careful with sealing it in with your petrolatum based products because that could also trap it in and push the ingredient in further into the skin causing more irritation so if you apply a retinoid we usually say don't apply to damp skin because your skin's more porous it will accept the retinoid more readily it could cause more irritation more than we'd want we want any irritation but we don't want to we don't want it to penetrate too deeply and we have to take steps back and take a break from our skincare routine same thing goes to the same if we want weigh it down with some heavy ointment like aquaphor or vaseline on top of your retinoid it could push it down seal it in and cause more absorption and more irritation so when you have eczema i talk about putting a moisturizer over medications to help seal it in and make it work better like topical steroids say for example but we don't want to do that for your anti-aging products or acne medic medications unless we, we really talk about it because you can do some damage by sealing in your active ingredients with slugging. So just be careful of that. Slug responsibly, guys. I hope this video is helpful. So what are my thoughts? Well, I think slugging's fine. It's just put a small amount. Don't go crazy. I've been seeing people on TikTok using gobs of ointment and just like smearing their face with it. That's going to occlude some pores, right? But in general, it's say petrolatum on the face. I've been using it for years on the face. Totally fine. You can argue that this is too, the components of this are too large to fit in your pores and really cause clogging. And so I, I say, go ahead, apply this on the face, use a small amount, just the thinnest film is all you need to have that little bit of glow and shine. If you have acne prone skin or really oily skin, be very careful and also be careful with putting this over active ingredients like retinoids or exfoliants too. So I hope this video is helpful guys. Slugging, slug on, slug responsibly. Hit the like button if you like this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Please leave some comments on your favorite products to use uh, for slugging. There's also Skin Fix 911 ointment that I also have around the house that's great. And also Vanic Cream moisturizing ointment's great. Before it was called Vani Ply. Now it's just Vanic Cream moisturizing ointment. That's another great product without lanolin. Take care and let's hope for some warm weather soon. Okay, see you guys for the next video. Peace.